imagine that I have an electrical cell like so, and each cell is exactly with an EMF of one volt. But it also has an internal resistance which is equal to 50 ohms. How many of those cells and in what arrangement would I need them to power a filament lamp which is rated at 5.0 watts at a voltage of 6 volts? Hmm, well, with this amount of internal resistance, there's gonna be a lot of lost volts. So let's try this via a few different approaches. The first thing that we might want to just throw at this problem is to see what happens if we connect many of those cells in series. So let's say that I have like N of them in series, and you can probably tell that I'm going to need probably quite a lot more than six of them in, um, in series to get six volts because due to the amount of lost PD due to internal resistance. So let's say we have N of these. Now, the total effective EMF is going to be, let's call it E total, is just gonna be N times the EMF of each individual cell, let's call it E, in this case that's just one, but let's just say this is equal to N E. And the total internal resistance, because we can imagine that all of these have these like little internal resistors in series as well, then R total is gonna to be equal to N multiplied by R. Okay, well, we know that the EMF is equal to the sum of the terminal PD, let's call it V, plus the amount of lost volts. But the amount of lost volts is just equal to I times the total internal resistance where I is the current. So we can say that this thing here is equal to V plus I R total. You're probably starting to see a problem already. Well, let's rearrange for the terminal PDV, which is going to be equal to ET, but this ET was equal to the number of cells times their each individual EMF, and then we're going to take away I, multiplying by RT, which is going to be equal to N multiplied by the internal resistance of each individual cell. Can you see the problem with this configuration? The amount of loss volts that we're going to have are always going to be greater than the EMF because our current is required to be quite high. So we can actually calculate the required current just using P is equal to VI. So this is quite useful. We can say that I is gonna be equal to P over V. So that's just gonna be five over six amps, which is around 0.83 amps. I can even plug in some numbers and show you because N multiplied by the EMF of one cell, which was just one, take away five over six, multiplied by N, multiplied by R, which was 50 for each individual cell, has got to give us a total of six volts across the filament lamp. Okay, well, we can just rearrange this for N, so we get that six is equal to N, and then we're gonna have one minus five times 50 divided by six, giving us, well, this here is gonna be a negative number because five times 50 over six is gonna be greater than one. So essentially we can see that this configuration just doesn't work. So what is a way that we can use to lower the internal resistance. That's right, we can connect these cells in parallel as well. Now, we have to be a little bit careful. It is actually potentially a fire hazard if we don't have equal branches. Um, what do I mean by that? So I'm going to have a circuit which has a number of these in series like that, let's call it NS, and then we are going to have a number of branches, but in each of the branches down 
here, I have an equal number of cells in series. This ensures that all the electrons are going the correct way, they're not trying to get pushed back into the cell causing overheating and all sorts of uh, problems. And shall we just say that we have um, n b of them. So n b branches. So number of branches, number of cells in series. Okay, now we're probably going to get somewhere with this. The, what is the total internal resistance of this configuration going to be? Well, the internal resistance of each branch is going to be equal to n s multiplied by r, because this one here has internal resistance r, 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 etc. And we'll just add them up together, giving us n s r. Now if there's n b branches, then we have to add them in parallel. In other words, we're going to get that 1 over n s r plus 1 over n s r plus etc etc raised to the number of raised to the minus 1. And this here is going to be our r total in this case. Now if there's n b of them, we can say that r total, if we just add up the numerators for the number of branches, we're going to get n b over n s r raised to the negative 1, which is just going to be equal to n s multiplied by r, divide that by n b. And what will the total emf be in this configuration? Well, that's just going to be determined by the number of cells in series, so the total EMF should be just equal to NS multiplied by each individual EMF, which is just one. So, but let's keep it as um, epsilon just in case we want to play around with the value later. Now we're potentially ready to get somewhere because we can say that our terminal PD is going to be equal to the total EMF, take away the amount of loss volts, which is going to be equal to the current, multiplied by R total. Okay, now E subscript T, what is that going to be? That's going to be NS, well let's just say NS times 1 because each of them was 1 volt take away the current, which we calculated that it needs to be 5 over 6, like that, multiply by R total, which is going to be equal to NS over NB, multiply by R, which is just 50. Okay. Now we also know that the terminal PD in order to get the rating of the filament lamp needs to be equal to 6. So we've got an equation in terms of some numbers and NS and NB so we might be able to determine the number of uh, branches. Okay so let's just simplify this a little bit so we're going to get that 6 is equal to NS. I can take this out as a factor and this here will be 1 minus well, 5 times 50 over 6, let's call it around 41.7. I know I'm going to get around the error later on. Uh, okay, let's divide that by NB, like that. Okay, now this thing here needs to be equal to 6. And also, NS and NB need to be actual integers. Well, there's bound to be more than one possible solution, and we might explore a few of them. But one of the key details that we want to ensure is that this thing here is positive. The only way that this expression here can be positive is if this over here is less than 1. And in order for this to be less than 1, then NB needs to be at a minimum of 42. In other words, if we have a minimum of 42 parallel branches, that's going to be a tricky circuit to build, then we, are, we can calculate our appropriate number of NS. Shall we do just that? So we're going to let 
NB to be equal to exactly 42. And then tell you what, I'm gonna plug this value into here and I'm gonna solve this for NS just so that I don't avoid any sort of rounding error in, um, in the lower expression. So what are we gonna get? We're gonna get that six will be equal to NS and then it will be one minus five over six multiply this by 50 and then nb should be here but this here is just equal to 42. okay well ns will just be equal to 6 1 minus 5 times 50 over 6 times 42. what is that gonna give us using our trusty calculator well this here gives us 700 and 56 uh, of these in series. Wow! So one of the possible solutions actually involves an enormous number of filament lamps. So it'll be 756 of them in series and then there's 42 of them. That's not even taking internal resistance of the wires and everything else. So what is that going to give me? 756 multiply this by 42. Okay, uh, that's going to be around 31,752 filament lamps arranged in the following configuration. This is not the only solution though. In fact, I don't think that this is even an efficient solution, as you might have guessed, because we need to have like 31,752 filament lamps. The more parallel branches that we have, the less internal resistance we actually have. And we could, even for fun, calculate this with a different number. So for instance, we could redo this entire problem by setting NB to be equal to 100 parallel branches. Let's do just that for fun. Then we get that the number of them in series only needs to be 10.29. So let's say that the next uh, digit up is equal to 11. But you know, this here is still gonna give us NS uh, multiplied by NP, which is gonna be the total number of bulbs. It's just gonna be 11 times 100, which is uh, obviously 1,100 filament lamps which is a, a pretty big number and you can play around with these numbers to explore different solutions if you've enjoyed this video you'll likely also enjoy circuit analysis and this is precisely why you need to have a look at this amazing problem on the resistor cube have a look over there enjoy the solving